So we've been having raccoons get into our chicken coop. Um, they haven't hurt the chickens, but we saw them on our video and then my son saw them, actually saw them trying to get into the coop and run. And then I set up my uh, video camera and actually saw them in the coop the following day. So let's go take some measures to try to keep them from getting in. I don't know if there's one or two or three, they all look the same, um, but I just can't have them in there. I can't have my babies at risk and yeah. So this is where they were on top of the coop and pushing through the chicken wire. I know I should have put hardware cloth up a long time ago there. And this is a sped up video of our cam just showing the raccoons getting in, going after the food, obviously. Thankfully, they did not, um, you know, try to get into the coop. I wouldn't put it past them you know, to do that. You see the one there messing with the girl's waterer. I just, I kept wondering what is wrong with their water? It's always leaking. The, the little cups where the water goes into are always turned. And I've realized after this video, I was like this, it's the raccoon turning their waterers around. And here he is climbing the coop. Like, look at him right up against the camera there's that guy and this is all like these two videos are all one night so that's why i think there might be multiples Look at his little hand come through. They are too smart. Like, what exactly is he trying to grab? I don't know. And here's where he had knocked my camera down so I could actually see him squeezing through the door. That's how I knew the door was a weak point, which I already knew. I could tell just by looking at it, something could probably get in there. I just was dumb and made the assumption nothing would. So here's what the coop looks like during the day with the camera all set up right. You guys see my hanging baskets that I did a video on. They are doing so good in the chicken coop. Like they look amazing. The petunias are blooming, you know, wonderful. I'm in love with them. Toasty stuff, stinker. So this is where the raccoon was messing with their water. And as you can see, like it's dripping. He was shaking it and turning it. So I think, I think it's loose. I think I need to go in there and like twist the little knob to secure it again. But he was shaking this thing and turning those. I think he was trying to get more water out. I kept wondering why this was always knocked over every day. It's not like it was windy or anything like that. Like it just, every day it would just be knocked over. Now I know why, because they are walking the perimeter trying to get into the chicken coop. I added hardwire cloth right there yesterday because the night before, my son saw raccoons 
and he saw one on top of the coop right there pushing into the chicken coop so he ran out and chased him off and then he told me um, the next morning so then I came out and added this little piece that was already stop that was already pre-cut in the garage so I'm gonna dig through the garage look for some more pieces make sure that I bring that all the way down because I mean it's even if you think it's secure raccoons are very crafty they're a lot like hamsters they can flatten down and just get through anything so add the extra zip ties i'm gonna be zip tying the crap out of this today even more so than it already is and you know i just didn't think i thought it was locked down like fort knox and you know they can still get in i think my door is the weakest link here though. So I'm gonna see what I can do to make that door more secure today and then secure other areas. I did notice up here that this is only chicken wire. So I think one of them was up on the top because that there's a portion of the chicken wire that is sagging down right there. I think they were trying to get in or got in right there as well. So I'm going to zip tie the top. Um, I'm going to leave these covers on, you know, for a while. But I'm just going to add more zip ties anywhere I think something could squeeze in. This is the door. This is where I for sure saw that they were squeezing in and out, like you saw in the video. Um, it's not a comfortable place to be. I mean, there's hair left over right there from the raccoon because of the hard wire cloth that's there. Um, so it wasn't easy for them getting in and out. I don't think they really cared that it was poking them in the sides, but I've got a, I think I'm gonna cut a piece of hard wire cloth that will just cross right here. Every time we open the door, we just won't be able to open the push the door in anymore we're just going to have to do a wide outside opening like that from now on because if i can get a piece zip tied that comes across here you know they won't be able to get in and maybe do like a one that comes up to here straight down and then one that starts up here and goes up so that they can't even climb up and squeeze through up here is where the one climbed up in the video he climbed from down there went up because you could see this planter shaking and then he was up here with the camera and then he knocked the camera down um, which changed the view so that we could see them squeezing in through um, out through this um, door right here so definitely need to do more on this area I know this part got pulled in, so I need to add more zip ties here. I just, this is the first time we've even seen raccoons in our area. And I know they come out at night, but we have not, I have not seen them in my garden at all, ever. Even before having chickens. So I just, you know, stupidly assume that, oh, they're not in this area. They're not over here. They're not gonna come in and just didn't even think about it. So yeah. about you guys but i hate working with hardware cloth i always get cuts all over my hands from getting snagged on it when i'm cutting it it is awful And here I'm just attaching the hardware cloth across the doorway so that the door will open, swing out, but not go in. And then my idea is that the raccoon will not be able to push between the hardware cloth to squeeze into the coop.
so here's one of my solutions that I'm gonna try. One, I always add apple cider vinegar to the chicken's water, but I haven't for the last few weeks just because I forgot to. So I'm gonna start adding this back so that the water, when the raccoon drinks it, tastes bitter. Then chickens can't taste uh, hot pepper. So like peppers, anything like that, um, like it is hot for us, it's not hot for them. So I'm gonna mix this into their food. And I did this um, probably earlier this year, I was, I was doing this, um, but then stopped. So I'm gonna start doing this for the food, this for the water, and then I'm gonna sprinkle these crushed red peppers around. Loud truck going by crush these or put these around like the entrance where the door where he keeps getting in put that there because he's gonna be he's gonna be sniffing around he has a really great nose so this he should pick up on this right away and then this as well I only have a little bit of that left so we'll use that too in the food So we're also um, thinking about getting a trap to trap it and relocate it. Um, I don't know about, I don't know when or if, but I'm definitely going to try something else to reinforce that door. Um, I do have, um, so my coop, the Nastera coop came with, um, well, I ordered the run. So it has a metal run that is coated with the soft um you know like soft rubber material so it it comes in pieces so there are some panel pieces that i can uh like zip tie to the door so that you know as opposed to the hardware cloth where he just kind of bent that back this he won't be able to bend back this is hard it's solid it's metal coated metal so I'm going to try that tonight or today. I'm out of zip ties, so I have to go to the go to Lowe's and grab some more zip ties. But I'm going to try to zip tie one of those one or two of those panels today. And I'll show you guys that. Um, and then we'll see if he can get in from there. Um, they are they are so like hamsters, you know, hamsters can like flatten their bodies to get in and out of wherever they are like that, like they're cute but they are they can be chicken killers so i'm not gonna take the risk of letting them hurt my chickens and then we just moved the babies in to the big uh nestera coop with the big girls and i think that coop well that coop is going to be much safer than the other because um the other we don't really have it you know secure there's no like um hardwire cloth underneath so the raccoon could literally dig and dig under and get in there if it wanted to um so far it's just been eating the food that's around there um and hopefully it that's where it stays and hopefully we can get it to where it's not able to even get into their run their run is pretty much surrounded by stone except for at the door and then the door kind of has that gap just because the run is on a hill. So it, it just depending on like us opening and the, closing the door, like that stuff shifts and then it's already on a slide, you know, uh, a decline. So it, the door doesn't always just sit exactly right. So it is a learning process. Who's doing all that crowing? Huh? Who's doing that? Is that you, Raven? Hi! Look at my babies, they're so sweet. Hi. So I gotta show you what I did with the Nestera run pieces. So I took this panel here 
See, the green. And then I zip tied it to this portion of the door. So let me show you. Door. It's right here. It crosses to the other side like this. So I zip tied it all the way down. And then hubby came up with these clips where we clip it onto the hardware cloth that is already going around the run. So we've got one, two, three. And so he is unable to, <laughs> girls, what? He's unable to pull this open to get in. We have not seen him in the coop since we set this up. And it's been about two days now and we've been monitoring. He has come back but we haven't seen him inside. So I think we've kind of, for now, have taken care of this is issue. And I don't see any other weak points, but if I do, or if we find out that he or another creature is getting in some way, we will um, go back to the drawing board and figure out that issue and secure the run again. So you've seen the coop that we have and the measures we've taken to predator proof it. Let me know what you guys think and if you have any other suggestions for me as far as keeping my girls safe. Um, I'm still researching and still thinking about different ways to keep this coop safe for them. Um, but I am way open to suggestions. There are a lot more experienced chicken keepers out there than me and i need the help so yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave me some comments below and i'll see you in the next video